Good morning, y'all. It is about 8 a.m. My report time this morning is at 9.27 and Pup's flight home is at 11. So I'm just gonna take her to work with me and then she's gonna go home from there. I'm very sad that she's leaving me today, but I do have to work at some point. Pup has been with me for like the last week. Has it been over a week? It's been over a week, it's been eight days. I haven't been counting, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun. We went to Cancun for a few days and then she just came back to Dallas with me. And it's been so much fun, but she's gotta go home today. I brought my whole suitcase just in case I get stuck because people's flights have been getting canceled lately. Here she comes. So they check your bag. Josh's dad's Turkish delights. <laughs> Dallas. It is 8.58, but it is still a million degrees outside. I kind of just remember where I parked and that's usually doesn't work for me. That three hour sit really made the day feel long. I've been using my back seat because my trunk is full of junk. Got junk in my trunk. Let's see what the temperature actually is right now. Oh, it's only 100. Pup was like, it's been fun, but I'm never coming back here in the summer. And I was like, I don't blame you. A princess park today because there is no way that I'm waiting 15, 20 minutes for the employee bus in 111 degree weather. Okay, so Josh's dad is in town right now. He lives in Romania, but he is in Dallas right now and um, he brought us these Turkish delights from Turkey from his trip here and so he gave Pup a box of these but I just went through crew security so I was out there waiting for her forever and when she finally came out she was like she was like they didn't like Josh's dad's Turkish delights and I thought it was so funny I started crying I walked her to the Skylink and I started crying a little bit oh. My eyes are just filling with tears and she's just looking at me like I'm crazy. I know. An unaccompanied pup. That's right. I promise I look a lot more tired than I actually am. It is 10.42 and my report time is at 11.35. So normally I would have left by now, but my flight is delayed until 1. So it was supposed to take off at 12. Now it's not taking off till 1. Today I'm just doing a Miami turn. No long sit today like we had yesterday. Yesterday... That three hour sit just made the day feel so long. Today we just have one hour on the ground in Miami and then we're coming right back. So it's a much shorter day today than yesterday was, but then tomorrow I have another turn and it is a Philly turn with another three hour sit. So another long day tomorrow, but today's not that bad. I hope I get to the airport early enough to get coffee and lunch because I could really use a coffee today. And I need to get something to eat because we're not gonna have enough time in Miami. I actually got a really good parking spot today. Okay, so our flight is delayed almost three hours now. So we won't get home until 10.32 now. We're actually sitting at the airport now for three and a half hours. And my report time tomorrow morning is um, 7.35. So that is gonna be a very short night of sleep, but it's not short enough for me to be illegal to work it. It is 11.42 p.m. now. We finally made it back to Dallas. My toxic trait is that I am debating whether or not I can make it home with this much gas left in my tank. Y'all, I changed into my pajamas for the drive home. 
because when I get home, I just want to go straight to bed. So much for thinking it was going to be a short sit today. We ended up sitting there for four and a half hours. The flight was delayed, I think like three hours. I'll look in a second. I just have to pay for parking really quick and then I have to stop and get gas on my way home, which really sucks because it is after midnight now, but I don't know if this girl can get home with what we got left. Okay, I look ridiculous at the gas station currently. So I was supposed to have another turn tomorrow. It was a Philly turn. My report time was at 7.35 a.m. So since we got delayed so late coming back to Dallas today, um, I'm not legal to work that tomorrow. So I'm so thankful that I don't have to wake up at 5.30 in the morning tomorrow. I mean, I could not imagine getting home at like 1 a.m. and then having to wake up at 5.30 to get back to the airport. Good morning, y'all. Actually, it's not good morning. It is afternoon now. I slept in until like 11 a.m. this morning and I've just been working on my computer and stuff. I'm using these little eye masks because I've had the worst bags under my eyes today. Yesterday was so stressful because our flight home just kept getting delayed, delayed, delayed. So I kept watching the time that we were gonna get home. It just got later and later and later and it was so stressful thinking about getting home late and then having to turn around at 6 30 in the morning today it just would have been a very rough day so i'm very thankful that i got removed from it but i'm very behind on editing videos right now so that is what i'm planning on doing for the day okay good morning it is 10:03 a.m my report time is at 11:25. my first flight is already delayed today but my sign in time didn't change so i have to be there at 11:25. normally i wouldn't leave so early but i keep getting flash flooding warnings on my phone this is a dangerous and life-threatening situation so, I'm a little bit nervous about my drive to the airport today. It has been pouring for like the last 24 hours. I have a feeling today's gonna be a day full of delays and everything else. But today I got a four leg turn. So four legs in one day. I haven't done a four leg day in a very long time. Even a three leg day is a really long day. Uh, so four legs in one day. <sighs> that's gonna wear me out. So the day starts at 11.25 and then I'm supposed to get home at 9.55 tonight. First things first, I gotta get to the airport in this um, flooding situation. I'll tell you what else, another emergency is I need coffee. Emergency number three, look at how orange my hands are. All right, it is now 10.50. So that was the longest drive to the airport ever. The way that I normally go was flooded. It was blocked off, so um, I had to go a long way. There were some spots that were a little bit flooded, but you could still drive through. But yeah, we'll see what happens today, but I don't know if we're gonna end up working all four legs. I did pack my suitcase just in case. Good morning, it is 9.30 a.m. I'm in Kansas City. Obviously, we were supposed to end up home last night. We were supposed to do a Tulsa turn and then a Kansas City turn. All of our flights were delayed a few hours or so. And then, of course, the only flight that canceled yesterday was our flight home. So we were stuck here last night. But I did bring like my whole suitcase ready to go just in case we did get stuck because the weather was so terrible yesterday. Um, and I didn't even realize how bad it was until I've been seeing like, on the news and stuff, the flooding, how bad it was in Dallas. So yeah, we were stuck here last night and we are just deadheading back today. All right, it is now 9.54. Our van time was 10 a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down there, but we're already delayed 30 minutes and we're just deadheading. So I'm gonna go down there and see if anybody else wants to stay here for like 30 more minutes. If we're gonna keep getting delayed, I'd rather be here than at the airport. But I am happy to be just deadheading home today. It is now 8 p.m. Um, Josh and I just went for a walk and we're gonna make some HelloFresh for dinner. But they didn't include the little, like the instructions card. Um, that wasn't in the box, so uh, it's a meatballs recipe, so I just looked up a meatballs recipe. We're gonna try to figure it out. 
ourselves. I've never made meatballs before, so I'm very much winging it right now. I feel like this is a little culinary school. What do you mean? Like, they teach you how to make it. I don't know. It feels a little culinary schoolish. What, me and you? Yeah. It's getting close to the nub. Don't hurt yourself, please. Okay, this looks so stinking good. It was meatballs in bulgogi sauce, which I've never had bulgogi sauce, but it is very good. And I would say we did pretty well without any recipe instructions whatsoever. So I've got Josh hooked on Friday Night Lights. It's so good. It's so good. I have watched this show probably two times all the way through and I just like wanted to put it on because I love it and it's just like a comforting kind of happy show and uh, now Josh is like obsessed with it. He's like, can we, can we watch that football show? But I also got assigned a trip for tomorrow. It's a two day and my report time is at 8 a.m. So I need to go to bed super early because I'm probably gonna leave here at seven. It's a three one. So I'm working three legs tomorrow and then one leg home the next day. And I still have one day on reserve after I get back. So this week is nowhere near as nice as last week. Last week was a nice week on reserve. This week they're kicking my butt. All right, it is 7.23, I just got to the airport. Thankfully, the rain has cleared up, so hopefully no delays or anything like that. But today, I do have three legs. We're doing a Puerto Vallarta turn and then going to Cincinnati. I've been saving my cups from Starbucks, so this is just from home, um, but I feel like I'm definitely gonna need another coffee for this three leg day. Mm -hmm. 